Okay, here we go, lining up for our very first jump through the jump point from Stanton to Pyro. It's only taken me five hours to get to this point. It was a little frustrating the first day of the EPTU and trying to uh, just get to my hangar was a challenge and then trying to get equipment loaded and then pulling a ship because I wanted to take my 600 because of the view which is incredible and I wanted to load up a NURSA uh, the Ursa medevac so that I'd have a respawn point and healing over there once I got to some other planet and that was the challenge I managed to pull an Urza and then I tried to pull a ship and it wouldn't come up and black screen multiple times uh, many things did not work out well <laughs> but it finally did and uh, second day I was finally able to get uh, my gear pulled a bunch of gear into a 1SU crate got the Nursa got out here and uh, the 600 got to the jump point and got lined up and then it wasn't working because it was bugged and the, uh, the known bug where it's constantly closing but never reopens. So here I am getting in position and I overshot, I was going too fast, moving back over here, getting aligned, you can see our, our HUD spooling up, tuning, entering. Woohoo! We are going into the jump point. This is absolutely incredible. I have been waiting for this for eight years. Oh, there's one of the, the columns. Oh, uh, here's another one. Kind of reminds me of uh, Han Solo flying through the uh, through the Death Star and dodging all the different things. This is a little tricky, but not too bad actually. The 600 is a little drifty, using a little bit of uh, strafe. I think if I rotate here in line, it'll be a little better. I, I don't really know how big this is in comparison to my 600, which is a 92 meter ship. It's like 40 something meters wide. I need to take my 890, but I'm afraid. I wanted to do it in something medium sized first and just kind of see what it felt like. And it, it's not that bad. I'm getting some frame drops here and there, but nothing we can't handle. Staying away from the sides. Out the music, the sound effects. Ah, the lighting's changing. Crossing over to the pyro side. The more yellow orange. Wow, the effects are just so cool. I haven't had any of those columns in a while. Oh, not sure what that big flash was. Okay, here's more columns. It's tricky with the bad frames in here. But everything's so much better than yesterday. And the first day of EPTU was just a nightmare. And I was trying to start at Area 18, which was not a good place because everybody was starting there. And somebody mentioned like starting at Lorville or Orison had much better luck, so I switched over, recopied my account copy my account like five times so far. Oh, freezing up. But at least everything's freezing so it's not like my ship is continuing without control. That's the part that's kind of scary. Okay. Okay. Feels... Oh! I think that's the end. I think that's the other side of the jump tunnel. Oh! 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 A little too close to the edge. Oh! Oh! Uh, strafe up. Oh, we're coming out. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. G-forces. Blacking out. Hope I don't hit an asteroid. We're going here at over 1,000 meters per second, 1,100, 1,200 meters per second. We're going fast. Oh, blurring a little bit. The ping, make sure we don't have any asteroids around us. Oh, but we made it through. We're kind of graying out here a little bit. I try to turn, and the G forces are uh, pretty rough. Yeah, they're supposedly still working on us, but whoa, we made it! First run through the jump point. We'll see you soon.